everyone. I have this video for you today, kind of showing you what I've been working on and what I'll have ready and how to introduce you to the different things that I have listed in my Etsy stores. Uh, first of all, I have this Baby Animals on the Farm. It's a little journal made out of a little golden book. So there'll be probably a separate video on that. Also, these two little journals are made out of a quilted piece and um, there'll be another video, separate video on those. But what I wanted to show you was I have, I made some kits up because I have, you know, once I make something, I have kind of sometimes so much of it left over, then I'm probably not really going to use that all again. So I made up some little kits where you can create your own cover like this little journal. It's got two little, I'll open this one up so you can see. It's got two of the pieces in it to make your cover. So that's what I did. I, uh, mine are, I aged them a little bit, but some people don't like that. So I thought, well, I'm just going to leave it plain and you can kind of, you know, create it, create it however you would like. So I took my two pieces of fabric and then you have two pieces like this as well. Okay, let's get in frame here. I'm going to put my little booster there. Okay, so I took my two pieces for the cover. Then I, I mean, you can glue it on or sew it on or however you want to do. I, I wanted mine to have, because I wanted to have two signatures in, I wanted it to be a little wider. So I cut a piece of cardboard this length. Um, you know, if you want yours wider, then you probably can do or use something else. But then uh, when I had those glued together, flipped it over, then I put my piece of cardboard in there that I had cut, glued that in. And, th and then I took, let me look here, yeah, I took this and glued that on again. Or... You know, after I had mine made, I could I put a piece of fabric in here this size, just like you would a piece of paper, and then you could put this on the top after that, or it just kind of helped to you know build up the binding area. So that's how how I did that. So those are in there in your little kit, and then I have some crocheted um, trim on the edge so there's you know the pieces are in there they're a little longer so you can cut them one goes on the front and one goes on the back um, then I have made uh, there's a flower in the kit like this that so goes on your cover like that and I added a couple of bags in your kit I have a couple of those bags in my journals uh, so there's a couple of bags in there. Some of the buttons that was in the journal. A uh, little envelope with the stamp. So I use stamp on, still on the envelope, but that's kind of paper clipped on your envelope. And um, I have a little bead dangle dangling in there from a bulb pin, so I added one of those to each kit. And then there's there's a vintage photo in here, too. So I added a vintage photo, and then there's also a little um, embellished paper clip with the image. So that's what comes in the little journal cover kits. So those will also be probably in my vintage Etsy store, but the link will be below the video, so you can just follow the link um, to find those kits. And then I have uh, this two this is the box i had put a picture of it on instagram this is the box that houses the the uh, two little journals um, i think the instagram
picture had a different flower. I didn't really like that, so I made a different flower. And then I added some bead dangles to the um, journal closures. So I will probably have a video of that too, separately. Otherwise the videos get too long. So I'm just going to kind of show you what each kit looks like. Um, di different buttons. I'm probably going to have to list each one separately because it'll just be a little bit too hard. Otherwise you won't know exactly which buttons and flowers and stamps and images and the clips are different in the beads. Um, they're kind of fun to put together. Uh, so, you know, you can kind of make your own little vintage quilted journal cover. And, you know, I always kind of age a lot of my things, but I realize a lot of people don't really, don't really like that either. So you can just leave it, um, you know, it's just different old photos in there. Like I said, I'm going to start trying to go through and use up some of my stash. There's probably way more than what I can, you know, create myself. But the nice thing is if, you know, I can always grab this and, and you know, make a journal. <laughs> so it's kind of like organizing myself as well. But I, uh, I like to have some things in my Etsy store that pertain to uh, the things that I like to do. So... Uh, another thing, I had a request from someone um, for my sewing journal cards if I would do some different colors too. So these are in my Etsy store too. There's a, a purple one and um, a red one. It's the four journal cards. And in a previous video, I showed you the pink and the green and the gray and the blue one. And then this is kind of a brown one. And my printer started going goofy on me, so it didn't print out very well. But this is what they look like. Those are the things that I have available. And um, like I said, I'll have separate videos for the journals and the journal box. So... Um, yeah, I uh, I think that's about all I was going to show you for today. Well, yeah, there was a couple of more things. Let me just put this down. Uh, I was going to also show you, I have a couple more of the book kits um, available in my store. This is a yellow book. And um, this one is kind of the green book with the bird image. Like this stuff isn't glued down. So it's just uh, I'm getting rid of some of my old books and um, I really kind of enjoy putting them together. They have a little domino dangle and you know one day I just grabbed one and, and made it up into a journal quick for someone. So it's kind of handy for me too. And this is another one kind of similar to uh, this one here. I think a couple of them are on eBay right now. So, um, yeah. There's another one like this. Colors of the books are a little bit different. And then there was this guy here. So those were some of the books, book cover journal kits that are available. And uh, I also have a couple of these left, or I think one maybe. Uh, I priced them too if you don't want the domino dangle in there. It had a little, this was a real simple little kit with vintage buttons. And, and then there's some of this style too with the lavender, some lace. It's a little bigger, but uh, it's priced. If you want the domino dangle, it's one price. If you don't, then I'll just take it out because there's a little bit of time involved in making the domino dangles. So, um, yeah, that's uh, what I have for those. 
So you can head on over to my Etsy store and the links will be listed below. So you can just click on that and it'll take you right over to each particular um, item. And um, yeah, and I really thank you for all your support and I thank you for watching. Bye now.